Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was asking a question on my Facebook page, and we, I didn't understand what they're wanting. And they're wanting to cut out name or name plates. Uh, they've got a like a mini helix or something, and from an epilogue, I think twenty four by twelve. <clears throat> First of all, you're doing this right. You're you're doing individual cut lines, which will save you a lot of time. You've got a little bit of weights in space. You could even go a little further so it wouldn't have to cut this. You could take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. Then the laser wouldn't have to cut them. It's gonna to have to move anyway because it's part of this part of this line, but so that doesn't really matter. And you might be able to use this piece elsewhere. You might be able to put a name tag in there. A uh, couple things, and she wanted to know how they could center the name tag. Well, you can't center this because there's nothing to center to. There's no um, boundaries, and you're and you're asking your laser to be perfectly aligned to cut to the edge of the material. I would want to cut this out, and you know, cut the outside corners. And you might actually have to cut these just a little bit smaller because uh, my laser will not fire if it's right on the right on the edge. But you could, you know, minutely change these, you know, just a, like a sixteenth of an inch. But what you do to get that border around that page is just double click on your rectangle tool, and it put a rectangle around it. Then you can change it to a hairline, and you could go ahead and make it red so you know it's a cut line. But to center it, you know, like I said, there's nothing to center to. But now you do have boxes. So what I would do in this scenario, I'm going to change your nudge distance to, I'm going to first of all change that to zero. But I'm going to change my nudge distance to 25. And I'm going to go to edit, find text. And I'm going to move all that out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the smart fill tool, but I'm going to use the smart fill tool without a fill and a hairline. And we'll actually make them black for right now. So now I'm going to fill these in. I'm going to fill in all these spots where there's, well, like that one doesn't have a, uh, it's not a label. And we got a leak right there. Let's go ahead and fill these in. We'll fix that leak. The only reason I know it's a leak is it, it went past that line. So let's take this smart fill out of that one, just delete it, and find this leak. It's got to be in this piece right here. And it doesn't look like it's going to leak, but take the shape tool and click on it. It might be leaking at the bottom. You might just not have drawn it further enough down. Now let's tie the smart fill tool. Nope, it's still leaking. So let's try bringing that line up a little bit. You don't want to go too far. Holding down your control button, you can't get it off. Now we can cut that line off so it won't get into the next name tag. Let's make sure this fill is gone and take the smart fill tool Now it only filled in one of them. So you've got them all filled in. This one's not cuttable. And really what I should have done is taken the fills and nudged them over as I was doing them. But this is just as easy because you can't click on those lines because they're not part of it. You know, there's nothing there except for the rectangle. Now, you could take all these and move them to the left twice. Now you have a box to center it. So you grab your text, hold down the shift key and grab your box and go EC. Did you see it move just a little bit? Let me back up here. Let me zoom in. And you could grab your text by going like that 
holding down your shift key and grab your box. E, C, and that's going to center it. Text, shift key, grab your box, E, C. Then once you've got them all done, and you, this is pretty smart, you've got the text size on there, and we forgot to do one right here. So you can get your smart fill tool and fill that in. And once you've got, all, got them all done, <clears throat> all you have to do is go back to edit, select all text, and move them over. Then they're gonna be in the center of those name placards. But, so what I was saying earlier, your laser is probably not gonna fire on these two edges. Well, really, maybe none of the edges. So it's 24 by, so what I would do, unless this is a like a government job and was feds, uh, and it has to be exactly, control G and group it together, and let's make it 23.75 um, And why is that 12 already? 11 by 0.75. So we've reduced it in size a little bit. And then hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then your laser is going to cut. And you, and you could use a smaller number. I just did, you know, a quarter of an inch. So it's really an eighth of an inch up and down and an eighth of an inch sideways. Now your laser is going to fire and cut all this out your name tags will for surely be cut out. And unless they have to be exactly, you know, so now let's see what that, you know, um, let's move this over. And that thing, that badge, that name is 3.51 by 2.94. So I don't know what it was originally. Well, let's see right here. Yeah, it's 2.25 by two. So we have changed it a little bit. I mean, we're, but in, like I said, you could, let me just back up here before we did anything, make sure it's grouped together and this. And I do not why, I do not know why that is larger than that. That is a little, a little strange. It should be the exact same because the smart fill tool does not add size. But let's just grab it and make it 11.95 by 23.95. We're just changing a five one hundredths of an inch. And then hit P, your laser should cut that out because it's not on the edge. Anyway. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.